Hello everybody, welcome back. This morning was a little rough for me. My roommates and I played this drinking game last night called True American. If you've ever seen the TV show New Girl, the roommates in that show play True American. So two of us just recently rewatched the show and so we really wanted to play and I got significantly more drunk than I wanted to. And I woke up not feeling so hot. So today we're gonna go from zero to hero and we are going to put some makeup on our headached, hungover face. <laughs> also, it's hot as hell in here. So if I start sweating, don't judge me. Oh my God. <sighs> I need all the water I can get at this point. Okay, Paul Revere would be proud. This is about as good as we're gonna get for a ponytail today. Okay, I'm just kind of gonna do what the spirit moves me to do today. I have no plans except to get this hangover out of my life. <laughs> Some benefit professional right away. And of course, when you get really drunk, you don't do your skin routine at night. So <laughs> things, are, things are going great. They're going great today. <laughs> But hey, if anything is relatable content, it's someone having a hangover. So I'm sure 99% of you watching feel my pain. <sighs> okay, I need a little extra moisture in my life since I didn't do my skincare routine yesterday. So we're gonna do that Milk Hydro Grip. I have all this dry shampoo in my hair too that you can probably see. Ugh, this video is a rough one. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is in 202, and this one's old, so I hope it's not bad, but, cause I don't wear foundation very often, so I don't have a lot of it. I will stick with Drugstore. We're gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Ugh, my hair, ugh. These little baby hairs drive me insane. Not helping the hangover hairs. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, speaking of hair, that was a good segue. If you know me, you know that I think Gilmore Girls is the best show ever created. I've seen it a billion times. I am basically constantly watching it. Like it's always on. It's what I put on when I edit videos because I know it so well that I can just put it on in the background. And even if I'm not paying attention for a little while, I still know where we are in the storyline. I can go in and out of every episode and I'll know what's going on. So that's why I put it on when I'm doing something else. And I recently just finished a binge of it. And I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but I always get really melancholy when I'm done watching it. Um, and I have to start over. And it, I don't know why, but I just get so emotional every single time. I feel like I'm losing my friends sometimes. It sounds so, so stupid, but I don't care. But anyway, on to the hair. Why the hair was a good segue. Rory, one of the main characters in the show, has the most beautiful front bangs for like the last two, three seasons. And I was watching it and I'm like, I need those. And I've always wanted to try front bangs, but the difference in our faces is that she has a really big forehead and I have a really small forehead. But I'm like, we're in quarantine, no one's gonna see me. The only time I need to look nice is for these videos, so I might as well try it now. And then if I hate it, I'll just deal with it for the next few months, because I probably won't see anyone anyways. So my next video is going to be my roommate cutting my bangs because I think he's going to do a better job than I would. Do we think this is a bad idea? <laughs> because I'm a little on the fence. If you are watching this video or if you've watched any of my other videos, you guys know my face fairly well. Please tell me if you think this is a bad idea. I'm kind of in the middle. I feel like YOLO, you only live once. I've always wanted to try bangs. I've had them before, but not like straight bangs like that. And if I love them, I have this whole new haircut I can rock. I know they are higher maintenance and I know summer's coming. So like bangs in your face isn't really the best thing ever, but like now's the time. If I want to try it, now's the time. But I'm also like, will I hate it? I just don't know. So if anyone has an eye for bangs, 
please sound off in the comments below. Let me know how you think I would look. My biggest fear is looking like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. I just don't want to look like him. So if you think I look like Lord Farquaad, please stop me. <laughs> I did use the Cody Airspun. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I used the Cody Airspun just now to set my face. I'm just going to do my eyebrows really fast. Get them over and done with. Okay, well, that's about as good as they're going to get today. I'm hungover. I don't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> I think we're going to do like a funky two eyeshadow look with... Maybe, maybe a little more than two. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to do it with the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. I need to clean my brushes. <laughs> Talk about relatable content. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Therapy Sesh, which is like a light purple. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. dipped way into that, didn't I? <laughs> okay. One thing that I make a big mistake of that I'm really trying to get out of the habit of is getting makeup in this inner corner area because it makes your eye look smaller. When you have dark shadow in between your the bridge of your nose and your eye, it just kind of like brings things in and darkens things up. And I want big, beautiful eyes, big, beautiful cat eye always. So I really am trying to be diligent about not getting sloppy. And if I do get sloppy to clean it up, so we are going to try to avoid that as best we can. We're constantly learning, constantly getting better with every application. I'm gonna go in next to it in Lolly Mama, and I'm just going to get a little variety of color up in here. Just really start color mixing. I'm gonna keep this shade a little more in let the other color be a little more out and this shade be a little more on the lid. I did dip a little bit into the color next to it, which is Tipsy Girl. That color is a much brighter pink. It's probably the brightest pink in the palette. And I just patted it close to the middle, like the middle of the eye. And that's probably gonna be the last pink we use. We're just gonna use those three colors. And then I'm gonna use the white shade in the corner just to brighten up the inner corner and make things pop. I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner and blend it into the pinks a little bit, keeping it mostly on the inner lash line. And you can pull it out a little bit too because it's a white and I am white, so it doesn't look funny being on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna take a mostly clean brush. I'm just gonna go around the edges a little bit Make sure everything is seamless. And then we're gonna be done because I don't wanna work too hard today. Okay, that's honestly about as much as I wanna do today. So <laughs> let's move on to some eyeliner. I wasn't going to do a wing, but I kind of wanna attempt the fox eyeliner, the foxy eyeliner, a cat eye, whatever you wanna call it. It's all over YouTube right now. I know I'm hungover, but like, might as well give myself a challenge. <laughs> So the difference between the foxy eyeliner or the cat eye eyeliner and regular eyeliner is that you want to make the far out edge thick and you want to make it super thin on the inside. I am always striving for that goal and I can almost never achieve it. So we will see how it goes. If I don't succeed, I will at least have put on some sort of eyeliner and then we'll just move on. <laughs> Okay, so my left eye looks so good, so professional. Like I've been doing this for as long as I have literally been putting on makeup. My right eye looks like I have never applied makeup before in my life. I had to take it off and put it back on three times. It was a fucking disaster, but whatever. I'm gonna accept the way it looks because I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm gonna put on some damn mascara and I'm gonna move on. Finally onto the face. I'm gonna move into the shade and light palette. My trusty new BFF. I'm gonna use that middle shade just to brighten up my under eye. Okay, does anybody else feel like they wanna stop drinking alcohol? Because I do. I know I just had a video where I got drunk and did my makeup and now I'm here hungover doing my makeup. But like, I've seriously been thinking about 
how I don't really want to drink as much as I used to. I'm 26. I'm not in college anymore. I want to take my health seriously. I want to start building healthy habits. Something I've been noticing is that it doesn't matter the kind of healthy habits you acquire in your life. If you're still drinking a bunch of alcohol or even like a moderate amount, it's not really gonna matter. And a lot of people tell you that, but until you really realize it in your head, like it's useless. So I think 26 is the year that I really, really cut back. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way bronzer. I have a lot of friends who really like to drink, so I feel like I'm gonna be the sober one in a crowd full of drunks, which like is whatever, I don't really care, but it's not what I'm used to. But I'm honestly kind of excited about it. <laughs> I love, 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 love waking up and not feeling like shit, so. That's my main goal. But also like, I'd love to lose some weight. I'd love to feel good all the time. I'd love for my skin to just really glow from not putting literal poison into it all the time. So that's the goal. I just wanna feel good. I wanna look good. I wanna know that I look and feel good. And I don't want anything hindering that anymore. And lucky for me, my BFF and roommate also feels this way. So we'll probably implement it together, which is nice. It's nice to have a buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just grabbing whatever's closest. <laughs> this hangover's got me good. I can never find the brush I want. Oh my God, it's gonna drive me insane. I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics face palette contour palette just using that corner color i always use just gonna carve out the cheekbones okay back to gilmore girls i'm watching the netflix season or special or whatever you want to call it a year in the life and people really hated on that when it came out and i feel like i maybe just jumped on the train because Everyone was like, oh, it just doesn't feel like the show. It feels awkward, it feels stiff, whatever. And like some of that is true, but like give these actors a break. It's been eight years since they filmed the last episode. Like they're different people now, they're different actors now. But like it still really feels like Gilmore Girls to me. As Manny MUA would say, if you don't like it, please don't fucking watch it. Although I would love it if you watched it because I would love some more. And all I'm saying is Team Logan all the way. I know it's a controversial topic. Everyone loves Jess, but mm -mm. I think Logan was her soulmate. And I think Amy Sherman Palladino agrees with me because she put them together and he's definitely her baby daddy. Ugh, like spoilers, like Logan all the way. I'm like, it's okay if you disagree with me, but this is how I feel and I'm not changing it. I do love Jess though. I just, I don't think they ever met up. I don't think the stars ever aligned for them. And like, they're basically family now. So that's kind of weird. Oh, I just used the Jouer blush palette again. And now I'm going in with the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia palette. I'm having a full on love affair with this palette. I think it's so beautiful. And I'm finally venturing into some of the other shades besides these two. I've really started only using these two, but the other ones are nice too. They look like they would be for darker skin tones and they probably are, but I still really like it. A back argument you could make is that Amy Sherman Palladino made Logan Rory's baby daddy to mirror Christopher not being Lorelai's soulmate. And then like Jess is Luke in the mirror situation, but uh, -uh I don't agree. It's Logan all the way. Okay. I'm done talking about Gilmore Girls now. Probably not for long, but for now. Oh, these freaking brushes are gonna kill me. Oh, there she is. The little baby brush has been retrieved. I'm just gonna take this little baby brush. I'm gonna use my Ride or Die Jaclyn Hill highlight in extra. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and my inner corner and probably my nose and Cupid's bow. And you know what? Whatever else I want to highlight because I'm hungover and I want to glow. 
I'm being very careful with my inner corner highlight today because part of the fox eye is kind of pulling the end of the inner corner liner in a little bit. So I do have a just a teeny tiny little extension in there. I didn't want to go too crazy because I don't trust my shaky coffee ridden hands, but I did do it a little bit and I don't want to cover that up. So I'm going to pull the inner corner highlight out a little bit so that it's a little more on the like nose bone than it usually is, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's do lips. What we got in the repertoire? Zero to hero, no time flat. Zero to hero, just like that. How does that all in here? This is ColourPop in their Satin Lip Formula, Ultra Satin Lip. This is the uh, I Love Sarah E X ColourPop Collection. This is 951. Okay, I don't really love this color with this eye look, but I took all this time to apply it and I don't really want to take it off. So I'm just going to add a gloss on top. Zero to hero. Just like that. This is a ColourPop lip gloss in Moonchild. And I'm just gonna add it right on top. Hopefully it nudes it out a little bit. Okay, my application is super sloppy, but again, hungover, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter. Just gonna spray down my face with some Morphe setting spray. Okay, let me fix my hair a little more. Yeah, whatever. This is the completed look. I would tell you that my hangover's gone, but I would be lying. Please, please let me know what you think about the bang situation. Please let me know what to do. I mean, it'll be really good content if I do do it. Even if it turns out bad, it'll still be really good content, but I will be miserable. But like, give me a yay or nay. Please, somebody tell me if I should do it. Please. <laughs> It's still so hot in here. I just keep flipping my hair. Ugh. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Come say hello to me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The foxy cat eye worked for at least one of the eyes. So. Mm. You win some, you lose some. I'm hungover. Give me a break. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Stay sane. Stay safe.